Three people were killed and more than a dozen injured as Russian ballistic missiles struck the southern Ukrainian city of Zaporizhia. It was horrible. I thought the house was going to completely collapse, but thank God it didn't. US Defence Secretary Lloyd Austin is in the capital pledging more aid and criticising North Korea reportedly sending troops to fight alongside Russia. We must continue to face, squarely face, the specter of an aggressive Russia, backed by other autocrats from North Korea and Iran. Footage released online purports to show North Korean troops being given Russian gear and uniforms. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky is calling on allies to step up sanctions on Moscow. We need decisive actions from our partners, especially in light of reports about North Korea's new role in supporting Russia. South Korea wants the UN to order their immediate withdrawal and warns Pyongyang will want something in return. According to Seoul's spy agency, North Korea has already shipped around 1,500 Special Forces troops to Russia's Far East for training. It estimates around 12,000 soldiers will eventually help Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The Kremlin says Moscow has the right to cooperate with its neighbour. North Korea will expect a generous payoff from Moscow in return for its troop contribution. It could be either military or financial assistance. It could be nuclear weapons related technology. Russia is already relying on North Korea to replenish artillery shells. Now it's using them for another dwindling resource, manpower. James Oton, ABC News.